Good morning, boys and girls, moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas. It's so good to be with you today. I hope you are all enjoying this Sunday together. Today, I have a story for you about the growing up years of Jesus. We have more than one story about Jesus' birth, and we have many stories about the ministry of Jesus, but we only have this one about his growing up years. So that's the one I'm going to talk about today. When Jesus was 12 years old, now that's older than some of you, but younger than some of the rest of you, he and his parents, Mary and Joseph, left Nazareth to go to Jerusalem. Now Nazareth is in the far northern part of Israel, and Jerusalem was down toward the southern part. And so it was quite a journey. And they probably walked most of the way. Probably took them two or three days to do this journey. Well, when they got to Jerusalem, they participated in the Passover celebration. Now Passover is a time when they looked back to when the Jews had been slaves in Egypt and God had helped to free them. And so pe the people of Israel remembered that and were thankful to God. And even today, Jewish people celebrate Passover. And I'll talk more about that as we get closer to Easter time. But that's what they were celebrating when they made this long journey to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. Well, after Passover was over, Mary and Joseph, they had come with some of their friends and neighbors in kind of a crowd. And so they started back and they assumed that Jesus was somewhere among their friends and family that were going back home. But after a while, they realized he wasn't there. And they got very worried. And so they went back to Jerusalem and started looking all over for Jesus. They looked for three days. Can you imagine how worried their, his parents were? I remember when my younger daughter when she was about two, hid under a rack of clothes at a department store. And it made me really, really nervous. Well, there's quite a big a difference between a two-year-old and a 12-year-old, but still, we were very happy when we found her. And finally, when Mary and Joseph went back to the temple, they found Jesus. There he was. And he was sitting there and he was answering questions and he was giving answers that the people there at this temple were amazed. How could this 12 year old boy know these things? He had a remarkable knowledge about God. Well, of course we know that that wasn't really so remarkable because he was God. But his parents found him and they said, didn't you know we were so worried about you? We really were worried, worried, worried. And he said, why were you worried? Didn't you know I'd be in my father's house? His father's house meaning the temple at that time period. And here's a small picture of what they think the temple light looked like in that time period. Well, Jesus got up and he went with his parents and he went back to Nazareth where he lived until he was 30. And that's when he began his ministry. But Jesus, even at 12, knew that he had a big responsibility coming. 
and he knew that he had to do a ministry among the people of Israel. But here was a 12-year-old boy who at only that age could amaze the most learned and smartest people in their country. I think they should have figured out that he was rather special. And maybe some of them did. But here he was, only 12, and he was amazing. All these people who were so much older and supposedly smarter and wiser than he was. But that wasn't the case. Because even at 12, Jesus, who was God, knew so much more than we as individual people do. So I hope you'll remember this story about Jesus. And remember he said to his parents, why did you search for me? You knew you'd find me in my father's house, in the house of God. And of course, someday when the COVID is over and we get our vaccinations and so forth, we can come to God's house again and celebrate and sing and greet each other and remember this story about Jesus in the temple. Have a good week. Bye-bye.